the same science, you know, they can may actually produce life just from chemicals. And they're kind of getting there now to get the kind of the first uh, spark of evolution. A lot of work going on to have it in labs. If that happens, and I mean, where does least it stand? Because one thing you do see that, I mean, in Hinduism, there's another this very big contrast you have in the Abrahamic faith and Hindu faith. Recently, some documentaries have kind of been produced, uh, Horizon mainly, where one of the documentaries is now talking about creating life in the laboratory. This is something new. And there is happening in Harvard, I think. So this is very interesting. Does it in any way challenge or demolish the Hindu, Hindu ideas or Hindu philosophy of religion? No, surprisingly, it doesn't. Suppose you manage to create life in a laboratory. The Hindus say, fair enough, you're just basically doing what is going to happen anyway. You know, the, what the thing that we call spirit is finding its kind of expression through your laboratory. Good for you. So in a way, it doesn't frighten the Hindus at any stage. I tell you why it doesn't frighten and where this resolution lies. You see, this century, in this century, this is a sad thing to say, but the idea of a god, like a super personality creating humanity and life, is now seen as defunct. It's out of date. It's out of date. The Hindu religion doesn't really suffer that much because it has always said, you know, like the Nasadiya Sukta, that the idea of god came afterwards. This creation came first. And in the creation, we kind of churned up, conjured up a god. This is the Hindu idea. The Nasadiya Sukta talks like that. So, for us, it is not that dramatic or that frightening. That suppose you create life in a laboratory. They say that's what happened in this the the, the world, 3.6 billion years old. It, it happened anyway. And at the moment, the biggest best theory is that it came out of, out of out of space. You know, panspermia is called. This is a new idea that it didn't even happen in Earth. It came on a meteor here, life, the first life. But now they're saying, we'll recreate that particular situation and create life in a laboratory. Now, does it frighten the Hindu? No. Because it, you are just helping nature along. You know, it's just bound to happen. There's nothing new. There's nothing special. You're not doing anything special. Well, how can I reconcile these two? Moment I let go of a personal super personality called God, I can do it. If I hang on to the idea of a god as a person sitting in the heaven and dictating, I'm in trouble. Because then, you see, you created life without his permission. But if there is no such fellow, then permission, whose permission? This is how the cookie crumbles. 